What's up everybody? Welcome back to Unlocking for Grim Procession. Last time we took on Jace, it was quite an exciting battle if I do say so myself. Today it's Nephrox's turn uh, for the Spank Wagon, which is basically a Grim Procession, that's what it's all about. That was a noisy water slurp. Slurply lurp lurp. Um, that's like a lighthouse or something, I don't know. I don't know what the hell that card is. Here we go. Oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna keep this. Jackasses. Um, sure. Whoa, ho, hey, ho, whoa. Calm down. I guess I'll say this again. I, I should have said it sooner, but I mean, I have so many new viewers. The reason that I pop the uh, expanses and stuff on my turn is because I'm playing the computer. The computer already knows what deck I'm playing, I'm almost sure. Um, but in real life, I wouldn't pop that until later, because I don't really want my opponent to have any information about me until as late as possible. So I would pop it at the end step, at his end step, or something like that. I don't know, it's kind of a dick move later in the game to do that, because it doesn't really matter, they know what deck you're playing. But, uh, for that first move, I just want to kind of keep him in the dark for as long as possible. That is a two-drop flyer that I cannot get to. Damn. God, I really wish this was Blood Artist. Um, I do have a 3-drop that can get in there. Alright, let's see. Let's see about this. Let's see if we can get him to block. Come on. Get down in front. You don't want to do 3 damage to me. That's ridiculous. Go ahead and lay this guy. Because he gets quite a bit bigger regardless of what happens next turn. He's going to be a 5-5. Five -five. Uh, because I can't really play either of these dudes, so... This deck's kind of stable. That doesn't really do anything right off the bat for you, but, uh... Eventually it's gonna be... Yeah, it is just... It's two for the regen on that? Ah, I thought it was one for the regen. I've played with it, like, once, so I wasn't sure. But, uh, that's, that's kind of interesting. Pretty cheap regen right there. It's not bad. Um, yeah, we're still gonna go with the, uh, the bashing strategy, even though... Well, Doomblade actually not super helpful for him against this deck. Oh, look, we're popping him at the same time. Look who thinks he's special. Alright, we'll throw that down. We'll get to bashing. He's got no responses. So we'll go ahead and pump. I kinda like that guy. I mean... Kind of like the Antuco Shade, only I have to do it by threes, you know? I don't have a problem with that. Nantuko Shade, because Nantuko Shade's a 2-1. This guy's a 2-2. Two -two. So he's a little bit closer to that than, say, uh, Liliana Spectre. Or Liliana Shade. Spectre's the discard card, isn't it? So that guy's regenerable now. Um, I'm gonna bash in and hopefully he blocks my 1-1 one -one with his, uh, 2-1 lifelinker so that he doesn't really start getting- Oh, wait, no, I can just, uh, give that guy restless leg syndrome, so that's not bad. Um, and I can lay a dude afterwards, that's kinda cool. So I can also just get in there for 6, though. Which is kinda nice because then I just win on my next turn, so... No, I can't get in there for six. What am I thinking? I was thinking of playing uh, the one guy. I thought the mana cost for that guy just because it was the last card I saw. Wow, I am horrible at this game. All right, get get in there. Eight, nine, ten. It takes one damage. Nine. That guy's a... Uh, Still a 1-1. One, one. I was going to say it was a 2-2, two, two, but uh, he's not the right color for that. Please do the guy who could... There you go. That's that's right. Computer probably just did it because it was 2-2, uh, two, two, but even still, that's the right call. I look like I could use some death touch here. 2-2? Two and two? Okay, so I can pay for it. Alright, that's not terrible. I think I dropped this guy first, though, to be honest with you. Or maybe this guy, perhaps? 
Yeah, because it can't be Doombladed. Well, none of my guys could be Doombladed, but I'll go ahead and put that down. Because he'll get bigger. Bigger and stronger. I might as well get in there for one. Yeah. I still don't really have a problem with that. Wow, I didn't really realize that he was so mana screwed until just now. That kind of sucks for him. It's no good. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. He's, that guy's getting huge, so I definitely do need to lay like a flyer. Some kind of life gain, some kind of something needs to happen right now. And uh, hopefully all of that happens this turn. Unmake, that's kind of nice. So I could just lay this guy and then unmake the flyer as a response to it. I'll go ahead and do that because he's going to come in with him. It might make this match a little bit longer, um, but I actually think that it's not the wrong play right here. It's the right play. That that would be another way of saying that. I'm sure this would have been a much different match if he had had more than three lands, too, for most of it. Oh, that guy. That kind of sucks for me. He's still going to go off even with I, when I unmake him, so it's kind of lame. We have to sit through. All the triggers activating. But... What you can do, he can't re-equip the ring. He can only block with one dude. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I like this. I can get used to this. Uh, I mean, it kind of sucks. My dude's still a 5-5 five, five and not 6-6. Six, six. He takes a little long to start popping off. I don't know if I'm in love with him. I'm going to lay that just so that I have the uh, mana to make somebody death touch. But he can only pick one blocker, and I can only attack with one, so. Doesn't really matter, because it's going to be the six anyway, but I can make somebody death touch when he comes back on me, so. Yep. Nephrox. Here we go, we're coming back now. This is what this deck's supposed to do. So that's, that's nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've got this in a matter of turns. He can't really attack right now because if he does, I just give one of my dudes death touch, I would kill that creature, or my creature would die, and he would take the one damage. I don't know. I don't really think he can attack here. But, I mean, if you're Nephrox, you can't really just sit around either. It just really sucks because, uh, I mean... The numbers just aren't on your side, because I'm going to attack in every turn, you have to block, or else you lose, so you're going to lose one life regardless, I'm gaining seven on the turn, and you're losing one life to Pillory as well, so, yeah, this is a tough break for him, this is quite the scrap right now, I don't really know what he could do now that I've got my uh, fat blood artist out, you got to block, you can't regen anybody. I don't know. That's rough. That's rough times. Yep. I mean, my life total is just skyrocketing right now. This is crazy. He takes one. He's going to take another. He's got one turn left. And that will be victory for me. So that's kind of nice. Kind of like it. This deck just going to work today. I don't know. He's showing up. Not really having any problems with anybody. Oh, that doesn't really do anything either. I mean, he loses next turn. I mean, none of that makes a real difference. 
he can't attack because two creatures would die. He would just die immediately. Oh, he could start attacking with that guy if he had enough turns left, but he doesn't. So. It was a good try. I mean. I like how I could still pump that guy for reasons no one could explain. <sighs> like, why are you pumping him? Because I can. What is going on here? Who are you tapping down? This is the worst play I've ever... I mean, maybe he just wants to die on his terms? I don't understand this. Okay, that guy gets huge. Yeah, truly. Sure. You tap me down. I get to block. I get to give that guy death touch. You lose. That's two creatures. You lose two life. I gain two life. That was just terrible. I mean, maybe he just wanted to lose on his terms, I suppose. Oh no, the computer does some crazy things sometimes. The computer is a crazy guy. All right, there we go. Another unmake in the pile now. Uh, that's, that's pretty good. I don't know about that per se, but a lot of removal in here, so... That's always good. I think that, I mean, that's basically how this deck's supposed to go. Uh, early removal and then late game sweeps, late game stabilization into a very strong win. So, I guess we'll see what's going on here. See what we can get rid of. Maybe just one of my one drops because I don't really want to see them late game. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do that for right now. All right. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.